Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Quick little video tonight. Um, we're going to show how to do a proxy alignment on a 2015 Dodge Dart. Uh, you would do this if you changed a uh, module in the CAN bus system. So your you know transmission computer, your power steering computer, any type of uh, module or node um, within the CAN bus system. There's a couple things you need for that. First, the first piece uh, is an OBD Link MX Plus or similar. There's a couple of different models. Uh, this is the one that I have. I think it was $75 to $90 on Amazon, somewhere in that uh, price range. I'll put the link to it in the description. The other thing you need is either a laptop or a tablet uh, that's running Windows or a flavor of Android. Um, this will connect Bluetooth to that dongle. We're going to use a program called Alpha OBD or Alpha Onboard Diagnostics. It's a third party application uh, that allows communication uh, with FCA, Chrysler, Dodge, Ram products. Uh, so you can do things like proxy alignment, sales code upgrades. Uh, so say you wanted to, you know, turn your daytime running lights on and off, that, that type of thing. It lets you uh, kind of change some uh, configuration within the onboard computer uh, of your uh, Chrysler Dodge FCA Ram product. In this case, tonight we're doing it on our 2015 Dodge Dart. I'm doing it as a demonstration uh, to show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our OBD Link MX Plus and we're going to stick it in our data link port down here in the uh, footwell of our Dart. We're going to take our key, we're going to put it in the ignition, and we're going to turn it to run. You're not going to start it, you're just going to turn it to run. We're going to grab our tablet here. We're going to find Alpha OB OBD. This is assuming you've already got a connection between your, your tablet and whatever device you're using and the, um, and the OBD Link MX Plus. We're going to open up Alpha OBD. We're going to tell it yes if you're on Windows. What you're going to do is you're going to set it to you're going to set the brand to Dodge slash Ram. You're going to set the model to Dodge Dart PF, and we're going to set the function to Body Computer. Now you have to. It may come up with a list of ECUs down here. You want to select Body Computer Delphi Morelli. So see how it's unselected. That's not going to connect. It's going to give you an error message that says, uh, "Hey, I'm not able to identify the ECU." So we'll click that ECU. We'll click Connect up here. It's going to say, "Please wait." So it's connecting on CAN attempt one, status connected. The next step you want to do is you want to come over here to this active diagnostics tab. And we're going to click this drop down. And we are going to find where it says, and it's usually right at the bottom here, proxy alignment. Oops, nope, that's not the one here. Hold on. There we go, proxy alignment. It says the description of this, uh, this procedure. Uh, the procedure is used to configure the nodes on, a can, on the CAN network. The indication of an incorrect configuration is a flashing odometer. The procedure has to be run if any CAN units have been added, removed, or replaced. Note, some control units require code card login during the procedure. So we're going to click Start. It's uh, going to tell you a little summary here of all the uh, proxies, etc. We're going to click next to start it. This does take a few minutes to do. Um, it's going to run through a little checklist here. Should mostly say successful. I think there's when I did this the first time, there was one that failed. Uh, but the car has things apart on it. I'm purely just using this as a demonstration at the moment uh, so that uh, you guys can see how to, how to do it. There was a lot of write-ups online on how to... Uh, do this proxy alignment, but I, I haven't seen anybody actually do it in a video. Um, so we're going to tackle this tonight. And it's connected. It's still writing all the HVAC stuff. Okay, now it's finished. It says proxy alignment finished. If there are any failed writes, check the failing units for errors before trying to run the alignment again. Turn the key to stop and wait for the power latch to complete. Click OK. Turn the key off. We're going to turn it back to run. We're going to connect it again. Connected. Um, it's probably got a bunch of faults in it. 
Oh, all right, no faults. But it's also not running either right now. So. And everything's completed successfully. Well, guys, that's how you do a proxy alignment on 2015 Dodge Dart. This will work on uh, just about any Chrysler, FCA, Ram, uh, Dodge product out there. Uh, this is a pretty powerful application. Um, you can get it from Alpha obd.com i'll put the i think that's the link i'll put it in the description uh if you guys found these little videos helpful um i'll uh you know hoping to start doing some more with alpha obd it's uh it's quite a powerful application um and i'm kind of a computer guy during the day uh so doing the tech stuff with the cars is kind of right up my alley uh so it's something a little new i'm trying here um hopefully this helps somebody out if you guys like these videos that I've been doing, please like and subscribe below. Uh, shoot me a comment, leave me a note, you know, leave me a post, um, and you can also follow along on social media. I'll put the links in the description.